Black Ram 313 back with some news for the network where we expose them one headline at a time. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button and check out the description box. On to the story from the New York Post title, ESPN fires Paul Pierce after wild video that he posted goes viral. Quoting the article, here we go. ESPN has fired NBA analyst Paul Pierce, a source confirmed to the Post. The decision was made after Pierce published Instagram videos on Friday showing him with the 420 and scantily clad fifales who may have been dancers. And you know the type of dancers, right? The news was first reported by Barrett Sports Media. Pierce, 43 years old, has been on a bit of a downward trajectory at ESPN, but had hung on enough where he was a regular contributor to his top studio shows, NBA Countdown and The Jump. During a recent show, he went on air and said the wrong team won. He was quickly corrected. According to the sources, ESPN was particularly miffed that Pierce chose to put the videos out on his own accord. If he had been filming doing the same activities and they had been made public by someone else, he might have kept his job. When the news became public Monday, Pierce went on Twitter and posted a four second video that said, quote, smile and the message, big things coming soon. Stay tuned. Make sure you smile. Hashtag truth shall set you free. Pierce is expected to be voted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame this year. ESPN declined to comment and has no plans in the immediate to replace Pierce as it has a host of analysts. It can rotate in in quote from the article titled ESPN fires Paul Pierce after wild video goes viral in quote. Now let's jump into my commentary. First of all, I want to say on the THOTT news network, we also cover SIMPs when we cover one it's just like covering the other because the SIMP and the THOTT have a symbiotic relationship, whereas one cannot exist without the other. So to talk about one is to automatically talk about both. Now, that's just a disclaimer. Just to let you know, because this is also the SIMP News Network as well. But Paul Pierce, man, 43 years old. He has a net worth of $70 million. Won NBA championship with the Boston Celtics in 2008. He was a part of the original Big Three, where it was he, KG, and Ray Allen. I think we can thank these guys, the 2008 Celtics, for LeBron's championships. Because if it wasn't for the big three, the original ones, I don't think LeBron would have ran to form his own super team. But that's another subject for another time. Now, I saw the video for research purposes, of course. And I have to say, man, the dancers were sevens and eights. And they were all Latinas, as far as I can see, which is great. But why is it that the box is always a guy's downfall. Nothing wrong with having fun, but come on, Paul. Bruh, why did you have to upload that? And I'll tell you why he had to upload it. It's because he wanted everybody to see it. He wanted to be in the public eye so that he could feel like the man. As a lot of guys get their self-esteem and respect and self-worth from their ability to be around such entertainment and such of the opposite gender. But Paul, smashing H to the Izzo's is no accomplishment, man. You smash, he smashed, we all smashed. No big deal. But the problem is, is that guys like Paul Pierce and many of us, we are still so enamored with her, the female form. We're so awestruck and impressed still even at 43 years old, even at 50 years old, we feel the same way about them as we did when we were in high school and in the college years. Remember your first time seeing a club dancer or one dancing in the club? All kind of feelings come over you. And for some guys, they never grow out of it. 
enjoy the creature, yeah. But why are we still so awestruck by such? We should be used to their presence by now. But for a lot of guys, they act as if they're the greatest thing to ever be seen on the planet Earth. And maybe at a time, it was like that. But it should no longer be like that because they're no longer like that. I'm talking about how she was 100 years ago. Now, many of us enjoyed hearing Paul Pierce debating on who's better, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Although we all know that Jordan is the real GOAT and it's not even a real debate, we enjoyed hearing such talk, especially from Paul Pierce, debating it with other ESPN analysts. And you must know that Paul is in trouble. You know he's in trouble, right? His current net worth is about $70 million, but that will be shrinking soon to less than half of that, as it has been reported that Paul Pierce has been married to the same woman for over a decade. Paul, you might be headed to court over doing such a thing. You know they don't play with you, man, when you got big money like that. You know they're sitting around just waiting for the chance to run off with that check as soon as she feels like you messed up. And I'm sure she's embarrassed behind this. And if she wasn't already on her way out the door, she sure will be due to this going public. And Paul did appear to be a little bit intoxicated in the video that he posted. There was some fine toots behind him as in prosthetics. They probably had his mind gone, man. He was so elated to be in that environment. And I don't think that he really understood the gravity of what he was doing, man, at the moment. Although he should have known before that moment. And you can't really feel sorry for Paul because this was completely his choice that led to this situation. And at 43, come on, Paul, you're supposed to be much wiser than this. All the experience that you've had in the NBA and dealing with the T-H-O-T-T, you should have known, man, that you don't record that and post it. If you record it, okay, fine. Keep that for your own personal thigmajig. And if you're out in public, where are your sunglasses, man? Where's your mask, man, for the C-19, man? Where, where's all of that, bruh? Even if you don't believe in such, man, you should be disguised at least a little bit plausible deniability you know these nba guys really should hire me man to put them on the track right as well as all of the other entertainers but that would be too much like right but paul man you're supposed to be teaching the younger ballers how to stick and move out here and how not to get caught up with all of these groupies and all these situations doing all of these crazy things paul ESPN was a good gig for you, man. But you allowed your immaturity and being awestruck by some dancers to take you away from that bread. And don't just be putting down Paul, although I'm being critical, because how many of us in some way, shape or form have done the same thing? Even if you haven't lost a job, how much time have you spent on the pursuit of the modern toot going on the dating sites, talking on the phone in pursuit of such a creature time that you could have been using more productively but you chose to spend it on the pursuit of her just for the monkey dance with the rot box whether it be the rabies snow bunny the rotten chiquita banana or the succubus or even mei ling how much time have we wasted how much energy have we wasted i know i have a lot and i continue to do such i am in therapy right but i've come a long way I'm much better than I used to be. Still got a little ways to go. Somebody say amen, right? But Paul Pierce, man, yet another one. Talked the other day about LaMelo Ball. Today now, Paul, who's next, right? There will always be someone who will fall under the power of the you know the rest. Won't say it here. This is the tube. But for us who are more knowledgeable, those of us, who have taken the real pill. What we will do is keep it casual and occasional. We will pump and let her dump the catch and release method by Black Round 313 because we don't date, man. We recreate. Black Round 313, reporting the news. I'm out.